the burden and severity of malaria in children. Definition. Malaria is caused by plasmodium, parasite and there are the spread to people through to bites and infection. Anopheles mosquito vectors. Both the five parasites expect to cause malaria in humans. Falciparum is the most deadly the first symptom of malaria fever, headache, and shites usually appear in 10 and 50 days after the infected mosquito bites. Left on treat, the falciparum malaria can progress to several illness. Applications in medicine. Severe malaria cannot be explained by parasites born along of the factor choose of parasite. Virulency and the host inflammation might play key roles of immunopathogenesis. Furthermore, acquired immunity to severity malaria is explained by improved control of the parasite density and therefore might target distance and any progress in both several syndromes. Etiology. Patients with falciparum, malaria present with high fever that may be accompanied with chives, rigor, fluid, hair ash. Other common findings include generally sight, wet smell, back hair, myalgia, vomiting, and the pallor. In the children, these symptoms perceivable and are frequently mistaken for a viral syndrome or acute gastroenteritis children who are partially immune. One evening, after returning home from her lectures, Zara developed an extremely high temperature. Also, she had frequent severe chills and sweating intermediately. What was really wrong with her? A few diagnostic tests revealed that Zara was suffering from malaria. And now, she was given all the possible best treatments to recover as quickly as possible. But how did she get infected with malaria in the first place? What could have caused it? And how did the infectious agent take over her body? Let's learn this infectious disease in detail in this video. To begin with, can you tell me what causes malaria? We've always heard mosquito bites are the root cause of malaria. So are mosquitoes responsible for this infection? No. You'd be surprised to know that mosquitoes do not cause malaria, but just spread it. And what do we mean by this? The actual causative agent of malaria is the protozoan called the plasmodium. Plasmodium vivax, plasmodium malaria. Her infected saliva the malaria parasite is an ancient organism. It has been with us since before we were human. Famous victims include Alexander the Great, Genghis Khan and George Washington. The malaria life cycle follows a devious path, swapping back and forth between mosquitoes and humans. This mosquito is infected with a malaria parasite. Because she is pregnant, she has become hungry for human blood. During the bite, she injects saliva to stop the blood from clotting. Her infected saliva also carries the malaria parasite. The parasite... Diagnosis 
Diagnosis test for malaria include star breath and blood swab, rapid antigen detection test, PCR and the antibody test. Thick blood swab test for the presence of a staph of parasites. And thin blood swab allow inspection and quantification. Most sky laboratory personnel can detect parasites level as low as 15 parasite microbes of blood. Mosquitoes are usually vegetarian, preferring to drink nectar, fruit juices, and honeydew. Only a pregnant mosquito will bite humans, seeking nutrients from blood to nourish her developing eggs. If she drinks blood from someone infected with malaria, she too becomes infected with the disease. The tiny drop of blood filling the insect's stomach is teeming with malaria parasites. The parasite form that is deadly inside humans cannot survive in the mosquito's stomach and is slowly digested with the rest of her blood meal. However, back in the human host, a few of the parasites turned into a Symptoms. Children who are partially in human frequently present with thigh and shoot the hepatomegaly. Anemia and couches. It's not usually for these patients to have very minimal symptoms, choose as anorexia, decreased activity, or even be asymptomatic. Treatments. For malaria, must be selective of the basis of the infection and species severity of the disease drugs, susceptibility of the infection, parasites, and availability of medication, and resolve the severity of illness, which influences the drugs selected and the routine of administration. Malaria is an infection that can be caused by a few different types of plasmodium species, which are single-celled parasites that get spread around by mosquitoes. Once the plasmodium gets into the bloodstream, it starts to infect and destroy mainly liver cells and red blood cells, which causes a variety of symptoms and sometimes even death. Malaria is a serious global health problem that affects millions of people, particularly young children under the age of five pregnant women, patients with other health conditions like HIV and AIDS, and travelers who've had no prior exposure to malaria. Pro and con. The low risk of the recurrence of severity malaria and the rapid decrease of the incidence of severity malaria after infancy or concern with the early evidence that Immune to severe malaria is acquired rapidly. Most children had high density infection with the only mild symptoms before the episode of severe malaria. Comes recurrence of severe malaria are actually like the same syndrome as the first episode and different syndromes. Issue apply in Ecuador. Malaria has historically been one of the major public health problems in the vast territory. Approximately 7 million live in the rich area, despite the market decrease in the NCC from 2002 to the present, when it decreased from 106,000 to 17,500 cows, the persistence of endemic folks and high transmutation 
especially in the north of the coastline and the north of the Amazon. Conclusion. Resistance to severe malaria was not acquired after of two mild infections, although the parasite borne was higher on average during episode of severe malaria. High parasite burn was often insufficient to cause severe malaria, even in the children who later were susceptible. The diversity rate of severity disease and high Malaria is a serious parasitic infection caused by a few plasmodium species which are unicellular protozoans and transmitted by the Anopheles mosquito. Once plasmodium enters the bloodstream, it infects and destroys mainly hepatocytes and red blood cells, which causes a variety of symptoms or even death. Commonly affected groups include young children, pregnant women, immunocompromised hosts like AIDS patients, and travelers. Malaria is a global health problem predominant in South America, Africa, South Asia and Southeast Asia. Although many Plasmodium species have been identified, only five of them cause diseases in human. They are, Plasmodium falciparum, Plasmodium vivax, Plasmodium avale, Plasmodium malariae and Plasmodium nalesi. And Plasmodium nalesi does not have a mosquito vector.